Hey everyone, Ryan here, and welcome back to our prosthodontic series. This video will be on the shorter side, and we'll talk about metal alloys used in dentistry. So the first thing I want to talk about are noble metals, and there are three noble metals I want you to remember, those being gold, platinum, and palladium. And each of these metals carries a specific trait with them. So gold offers the benefit of tarnish resistance, the resistance to corrosion. Platinum offers strength and increases the melting temperature of whatever metal it's a part of. And palladium offers strength as well. And palladium is actually very similar to platinum in both appearance and other characteristics. Now silver, this is a little bit confusing. Silver is not considered a noble metal in the world of dentistry. Silver is a precious metal, but again, not considered a noble metal, at least in the dental world. The only three noble metals in dentistry are gold, platinum, and palladium, or at least these are the three major ones. Now an important thing to remember for the board exam is that silver can cause the greening of porcelain. So there's this characteristic green discoloration of porcelain when it's baked over silver alloys. And that's important to remember for the board exam. So metal alloys are, it's basically a metal made by combining two or more metallic elements, especially to give greater strength or resistance to corrosion. So we can categorize metal alloys by how much of it is consisted of noble metals. So a high noble alloy consists of greater than or equal to 60% noble metals, of which at least 40% is gold. Now noble alloys are, are at least 25% noble. And again, those noble metals are gold, platinum, and palladium. And lastly, the base metal alloys are less than 25% noble. And this includes alloys like nickel chromium, nickel chromium beryllium, cobalt chromium, and titanium, all of which are used routinely in dentistry, particularly prosthodontics. So for the rest of, of the video, I want to focus on four categories or types of gold alloys, and these being type 1 through type 4. So type 1 gold, also known as pure, quote-unquote, pure gold, is made of 98 to 99 percent gold. And in the dental world, this is used for class 5 restorations only because it's very, very soft, and if you were to use it anywhere else, it would likely get damaged and dented. So it can be used not too routinely anymore, but it can be used for class 5 restorations. Type 2 gold has a little bit less. It's at 77% gold, but still the majority is made of gold, and these can be used in inlays. So gold inlays, again, they're not covering the cusps, they're merely in between them. So the gold inlay is a little bit less gold composition at 77%, and that's the type 2 gold. Now type 3 gold consists of 72% gold, so a little bit less still, and this one can be used in the beautiful gold crowns. And keep in mind, these are all gold alloys. So while they mostly contain gold, they also contain other metallic elements like silver and copper. And lastly, we have type 4 gold, this having the least amount at 69%, and also being the strongest kind. So it can be used for the castings of removable partial dentures, which have to withstand the most forces of all of these clinical applications. So to summarize, we have our type 1 through type 4 gold alloys, and in order, it goes from softest to hardest, and in other words, increasing strength. 
So it's actually the same trend as gypsum. As we move down in our types, the material gets stronger. And in the other direction, the more gold that there is in the material, the softer it is. So the percentage of gold increases as we go from type 4 to type 1. And then in this, cat in this column, I just list the uh, applications that we went over in the previous slides. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in supporting me, check out my Patreon page. You can unlock extras like access to my video slides to take notes on and practice questions. So go check that out. The link will be in the description. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video.